Hey everyone, Dan from Ochico Bushcraft. Well, if you guys have been watching my videos, I'm back out at the place where I built my bed out of drum liners. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, you might go back and check, but I actually did a couple videos where I used this framework that's behind me here. I used that framework, put a couple poles between it, used two 55 gallon drum liners, and made a nice bed there between these uh, two bipods. I've also done it using tripod. I've done a, I've done a few of these videos for you guys and made this into a nice shelter and put a tarp up over the top. Well, I'd been looking for something more permanent. I mean, I really liked that being able to use the drum liners for that but I want something that I could use over and over and over and I don't ever have to worry about it um, ripping or tearing and something that also might have multiple uses so I am out here today giving a field test to the canvas bed sleeve from possum pouches soft goods now when you go to the comments I will put uh, their contact information in the uh, comments. So if you guys like this and you're after one, you'll know how to get a hold of them. This is canvas bed sleeve. Basically, this does the same thing as my drum liners did. I will slide the poles through the openings here and put my poles up on my framework and give this a trial run. The uh, big difference being this is heavy canvas and it's, it's going to last me a very long time. It's something that can become a permanent part of my kit. In fact, I plan on doing a video where I turn this into a bedroll. But before I test this out, a couple uh, things about it. One, it has grommets all the way around the end, on each end. So this is a multi-use item. You can take a piece of parachute cord, run it through these grommets, seal off one end, you know, nice and tight. And then open up the other end and start filling this thing with debris. And you can make this into a very big mattress. So if you have your shelter um, where you're just going to be laying on the ground, you can make uh, this into a big mattress, it's insulated to lay on, just filled with debris. And then you can seal off the other end or, of course, just fold it over underneath But to keep your... Uh, materials that you've gathered up from coming out. This thing's also big enough to crawl inside. You know, if you had nothing else, you know, it'd take a little bit of work, but you could wrap a, an emergency space blanket around you and then shimmy down inside of this. Basically, like a big old sleeping bag. So maybe I'd get some kind of a uh, space blanket in here, have that wrapped around me, and then get inside this and wrap it around me. And it's plenty long enough to cover my whole body, use it as a sleeping bag, something to keep me insulated as an emergency shelter. So, it's a great multi-use uh, item, as I said. Emergency sleeping bag, mattress. You could use it as, fold it over, use it as a pack cover. Uh, it's kind of narrow, but 
worst case scenario, you could use it for some head cover if you had nothing else with you. And as we're about to test out, a bed sleeve. So I've got my poles here from last time. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide this onto those two poles, put it up on my framework, test this thing out. All right. Another nice thing about it is when I use these poles with my drum liners, I had to be really, really careful that I didn't tear them. This heavy canvas, not so much. Much quicker, easier to set up. Okay, let's put this up and give it a, give it a test. That's just a lot easier to work with than the drum liners were by far. All right. It's kind of like a big old stretcher, but uh I like that. That was a lot easier to set up than the drum liner. It's a lot quicker and uh, should be a lot more stable. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. That is comfortable. Oh my. I, I can't believe the difference. You know, I, I mean, it wasn't uncomfortable with the drum liners. You know, I, I slept in it, um, took a little siesta. But this thing is amazing. I don't know, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm sinking down into a hammock and it's it's much more stable. One thing I was really concerned about with the drum liners is moving around a lot that they might start to tear, but uh, not so with that. I can also tell the drum liners were um, cool on my back. I actually had to put my uh, little Thermarest fold out pad under me. Uh, for some insulation right there you know that uh, definitely has more insulation value and cool too with the ends being open like it is right now I could actually shove debris I could shove debris you know big handfuls of pine needles and stuff 
in there as it is now, I could get a layer about that thick of pine needles. So if I didn't have a pad with me, I could still insulate the inside of that, shoving pine needles all the way through from both ends, make it into kind of an elevated mattress. Then my tarp would go uh, on a cross pole above me. to put my tarp over the top of me, um, insulate that with some pine needles, have one uh, back wall, build a little fire out here in front, a long fire, and then throw some rocks underneath. The rocks would get hot, raise the heat up. I gotta get in that again, that was amazing. Wow, that is comfortable. I mean, you ever seen those hammocks that come with like a metal frame that you set up out in your yard? That's what I would compare that to. The comfort level is amazing. I, and like I said, unless I was cold, and it is cold out here this morning, it's been storming for a few days, but unless I was cold, needed to put some insulation, uh, inside there or put a pad down I just throw a tarp over me a couple wool blankets over the top of me and i am set i'm impressed um possum pouches or possum pouch soft goods i'll put it in the comments so you guys can con contact them they're the ones that are now making these new canvas bed sleeves and as I said, I'm impressed. I like it a lot. So this is a two thumbs up field test and I'm gonna leave this thing up and uh, spend uh, some time out here and enjoy it. In fact, I've got a couple wool blankets in the truck, one which I'll be reviewing for you in the not too distant future. And uh, I like it, I like it a lot. Thanks guys for tuning in, take care.